Welcome to Mikun's Hardware. This week I was planning to test Huanan G RTX 2060 and Huanan G GTX 1660 Super, but I have received another Chinese package with the Chinese X99 motherboard. That's why I had to switch to test the motherboard in order to be able to dispute if something is wrong. After performing some tests, I have figured out that this motherboard is a complete trash, that's why I have decided to switch my schedule and tell you about this motherboard, so you are not going to buy it and not going to fall into this trap. In this video I am going to call this motherboard Trash X99. Let's start and take a look at its specification. According to the AliExpress description, Trash X99 supports Intel LJ2011 version 3 CPUs, such as Xeon E5 V3 V4 and Core i7. The motherboard has two memory slots, it can be either DDR4 or DDR3. According to the AliExpress description, it's dual channel configuration, but in the reality it's just a single channel. A bit later I will talk about how to identify if you actually have single channel or dual channel configuration and how not to fall into AliExpress traps and how to dispute and win on AliExpress if you have got a single channel motherboard instead of dual channel. For now, let's finish with the specification. On the back side of the motherboard, you will find 4 USB 3 ports, 4 USB 2 ports, 2 PS2 ports, network port and 5.1 audio. There is also front connectors for 2 USB 3 and 2 USB 2, as well as 4 SATA 3 ports, 1 M.2 slot to connect PCI Express and VME SSD drives. There is also one PCI Express X16 slot to install graphics card and one PCI Express X1 slot to install some kind of expansion cards. Judging by the specification, this is supposed to be a very nice budget motherboard, but unfortunately it has just one memory channel. Even though the AliExpress description claims that this is dual channel configuration and CPU Z indicates that the memory channel is dual, in the reality it's just single channel. Regarding CPU Z, you need to know that you cannot trust this application. This is a free Chinese application and when Chinese manufacturers want to cheat, they just contact CPU Z developers and tell them, hey, we have made this motherboard, it has dual channel configuration. CPU-Z developers update their database and when you use CPU-Z on such motherboard with two memory sticks installed, CPU-Z is just indicating its dual channel configuration, while in the reality it's just a single channel. If you already have a motherboard that you want to validate, then there are two other applications which you can trust better. The first one is ADA64, it's not only showing you the configuration of your memory installed onto the motherboard, but it's also able to test what is the actual memory read-write and copy speed. Read-write copy speed can also be indicative to how many memory channels are actually in use. HW Info 64 can also be used to identify how many memory channels are active at the moment. You can also check your motherboard BIOS. Some of the motherboards, but not all of them, have a section called Memory Topology. In this section you can figure out how many and which memory modules are installed onto the motherboard and which memory channels are utilized for which modules. If you see that two memory modules are utilizing the same memory channel, this means that only one memory channel is in use. If you have four memory modules installed but only two memory channels are utilized, this means you have dual memory channel configuration. If you do not have motherboard yet, you can always ask AliExpress sellers to show you ADA64 screenshot, then you can try to decide what's going on by the description. If a motherboard has four memory slots, but the description says that you first need to install memory sticks into the orange memory slots, this indicates that the motherboard has just two memory channels. The orange memory slots are connected as primary memory slots and the black one are connected to the same memory channels as the secondary memory slots. The same applies to this motherboard as well. It has just two memory slots, but the description says that you first need to install the memory module into one slot and then into another one. This indicates that the other slot is connected to the same memory channel as a secondary slot. In this case, you can safely say that this motherboard has just one memory channel. Regarding the AliExpress disputes, first of all, you have to always be very friendly and talk to the seller as if he is your friend. Second, you have to be always precise and descriptive and be as clear as possible and always bring as much proof as possible. In this case, you need to provide screenshots or videos from the BIOS from AIDA64 and combine it together with the description of the motherboard, which claims that it's dual channel configuration and in the reality it's not. Of course, if you have fallen into the trap when AliExpress sellers are saying that the motherboard has two memory slots and not two memory channels, 
That's a different situation. In this case, you are screwed and you will not be able to win the dispute because the seller has never claimed that the motherboard has two memory channels. In my case, the motherboard was described as two memory channels. That's why I was able to eventually win the dispute and now I have to send the motherboard back to China. And here is another trick. When you open the dispute, you need to provide as much proof as possible and claim that this is false advertisement from the seller's side. The motherboard is fully functional, it's not damaged, you have received the package, but the motherboard is not as described. That's why you would like to get full refund or you can send the motherboard back to China if the Aliexpress is paying for the back shipment. In this case, the seller will be either forced to pay you through PayPal for back shipment or you will get the full refund. Now let's take a look at some other test results of this Trash X99. Windows Sleep Mode is not supported. Turbo Boost is not working either. Yes, you have heard it correctly. I have tested the motherboard with the Xeon E5 2620v3. According to the Intel specification, it's supposed to turbo up to 3.2 GHz, but on this motherboard it was never clocking faster than 2.6 GHz, which is completely not acceptable. The BIOS though is not right protected, that's why you can use FPT straight from the Windows to perform Turbo Boost unload procedure. With modified BIOS and injected FFS driver, Turbo Boost is working correctly, all CPU cores running at 3.2 GHz. The BIOS itself does not have any overclocking features, it also does not have any RAM timings adjustments features. VRM performance is kinda okay. After half an hour with the Turbo Boost unlocked the Xeon E5 2620v3, temperatures were around 65 degrees Celsius. I would not recommend to install anything on this motherboard, but with E5 2620v3, VRM is working kinda okay. Trash X99, the same as Atomiter X99, has malfunctioning USB 3.0 ports. During Crystal Disk Mark test, an external SSD system was constantly hanging and overall USB 3.0 performance is extremely slow. SATA 3, fan headers and PCI Express X16 slots are working fine. The motherboard was tested with the Xeon E5 2620v3, as I have mentioned, and two memory sets. 2 sticks 4GB each DDR4-2133 and 2 sticks 8GB each DDR4-3200. Additionally, I can say that one of the motherboard temperature sensors works, it is indicating VRM temperature. Even though the value has minus 20 degrees Celsius offset, it's still working. This information will be more than enough to make a conclusion regarding Trash X99. Still, I have decided to perform a few benchmarks to check how much of a performance degradation you will get when you are using just one memory channel. For this, I have compared Trash X99 with 100 X99 TF. For the test, I have used Xeon E5 2620v3 with Turbo Boost Unlock, my G-Skill DDR4-3200 CL14 memory modules, two of those on Trash X99 and four of those on 100 X99 TF. And for the graphics card, I took mine 100 GTX 1660 Super, because I don't think it makes any sense to test with RTX 2080 Ti on this Trash X99 motherboard. People who are buying budget X99 boards and Xeon E5 2620v3 would most likely buy a budget graphics card as well. That's why I thought it would be important to understand what kind of a performance degradation you will get with a budget graphics card. After testing Ultra and High preset of Battlefield 5 and Far Cry New Dawn, we can see that Trash X99 is about 20-30% slower than 100X99 TF. I think this is a very substantial difference and you shall not be losing this much of a performance just because you have bought a budget motherboard. If you are using some more powerful CPU and GPU, for example Xeon E5 2678 and RTX 2060 2070, there will be even more memory read and writes. That's why the bottleneck with just one memory channel and with the loosed memory timings will be really bad. To finish this video, let's have a short conclusion. The Trash X99 motherboard can be bought from AliExpress under any name. It can be sold with no name, it can be sold with Clisera X99 stick, it can be sold with Machinist X99 stick, it can be sold basically as whatever. It does not change a thing, this motherboard is a Trash X99 and you shall not buy it. Nevertheless, AliExpress asks 55 to 65 euros for it. For the pros, I would say there is no one. For the cons, we have just one memory channel, no RAM timings adjustment, Turbo Boost does not work correctly, broken USB 3.0 ports. 
My score for this motherboard would be 3 out of 10, and please do not buy it. Maybe if people stop buying this trash, Chinese factories will actually start to think what kind of products they produce and will stop producing such garbage. If you are looking for a budget MATX X99 motherboard, then I could recommend you Huanangji X99 HM, Machinist X99 Z, Tinsha X99 D4, and Klisre X99 D4. For now, though, that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening. I hope you have enjoyed it. Goodbye.